Country star Kelsey Ballerini found her perfect post-divorce home in Nashville, far away from her ex-hubby, and she revealed the other country singer she bought the home off during an episode of the podcast Call Her Daddy. Turns out, both of these ladies use the property as a so-called healing house. Kelsey Ballerini has lived in various homes throughout her life and career. The 30-year-old country singer who grew up on a farm in East Tennessee has owned a few homes of her own since embarking on her music career. These include a downtown Nashville penthouse and a suburban Tennessee home, both of which she once shared with her now ex-husband Morgan Evans. In 2016, when Ballerini set out to purchase her first home, she knew she wanted it to be warm and inviting with rustic touches. She secured a Nashville townhouse and enlisted online interior design help through Laurel and Wolf. She said, when I was a kid, I loved bright colors. I think every room I had hot pink walls. Now I'm a lot more neutral. She still incorporated pops of color through art and other fun elements throughout the home, including seven black guitars hung above her kitchen cabinets and a closet covered with pink floral wallpaper. Ballerini married country singer Morgan Evans in 2017. Before the couple purchased their first home together, they lived in a penthouse condo in Nashville's The Gulch neighborhood, reportedly in a complex called Icon. This complex bills itself as Nashville's hippest urban condo building. Units feature 10-foot ceilings, floor-to-ceiling windows, balconies with city views, open loft floor plans, and walk-in closets. The building amenities include a fitness center, a courtyard pool, and an outdoor area with a fireplace. In December 2020, Ballerini and Evans decided to leave the penthouse for a home in Nashville suburbs. Ballerini said at the time, we have been in an apartment since we got married. It's a big pain to go from downtown Nashville to the burbs, but it's so good for us, especially this year. Just have a little more space to not hear the interstates and not hear the bachelorette parties. She revealed that the move gave her and Evans a sense of purpose during that period. The modern farmhouse featured five bedrooms, a screened in patio and a large yard. Ballerini worked with interior designer Lindsay Rhodes to infuse the home with patterned wallpapers in color. She gave an inside look at some of the spaces back then, including her dining nook built for entertaining and her office covered in a moody rose wallpaper full of overstuffed furniture. By November 2022, Ballerini and Evans had settled their divorce. According to court documents, the pair left the house and put it on the market. They also divided household furniture and other belongings. A few months after settling their divorce, Ballerini claimed Evans gave her the choice of giving up half the house or paying alimony. During the Call Her Daddy episode, Ballerini said she bought the house and he contributed to it, but not equally. But to avoid public alimony hearings indefinitely, she said, I was like, give him the house, I want out. Following her divorce, Ballerini secured a 1920s cottage she had her sights set on since her home search in 2020. She detailed how it all went down on the podcast. I tried to buy this house and I was like, I want a house that feels like I don't have to be a full adult yet. And I saw this house on Zillow and I was like, oh my God, this is my house. I tried to buy it. It didn't work out. Another wonderful, amazing artist bought it. So who bought this house? Kelsey Ballerini's current dream home is already a familiar sight to some country music fans as it previously belonged to another country star, Casey Musgraves. It was featured in a magazine photo spread. Her fellow country singer Casey purchased the traditional style property in 2020 for $1.9 million following her divorce from musician Rustin Kelly. That was the same time Kelsey wanted to buy it. The home that Kelsey ended up moving into was less than a mile away. When Ballerini got divorced, she texted Casey asking to let her know if she ever wanted to move out of the property. Musgraves was happy to pass it on to her. Kelsey shared, we didn't use real estate agents. It was woman to woman. And she was like, this was my healing house. Sounds like a perfect fit for Ballerini's post-divorce pad. She bought the 3,500 square foot home off Musgraves for $2.5 million. Ballerini's given a peek inside the home's living area, along with glimpses of the kitchen and dining room in Instagram posts. 
The four bedroom, three bathroom home is located in an upscale Nashville neighborhood. Former owner Casey Musgraves redesigned the home with a neutral, calm, and minimal aesthetic. Ballerini's modern farmhouse in Nashville is full of colorful furniture and bold print wallpaper, which she calls maximalists. The property also offers plenty of space for her dog, Dibs, to roam. Tennessee native Kelsey wanted to trade her over-the-top condo for a larger space, keeping only three paintings and a quilt from her grandparents. Reflecting on her decision for more land, she shared, I have a dog and I grew up on a big piece of land. I realized I needed to connect with that part of myself again. It's a small lot, it's half an acre, but it's just enough for this chapter of life. To avoid the blank white walls of her former home, she chose printed wallpapers for almost every room. One of her favorite spaces is her home office where a House of Hackney rose wallpaper sets a cozy tone. Dark blue cabinets, hand painted by Kelsey herself, line the side of the room and a sheepskin rug adds warmth. Her office also features eight frame photos documenting significant moments in her career, from performing with Taylor Swift on her 1989 tour in Nashville to singing with Reba McIntyre at the CMA Awards. While she spends plenty of time in her office, her kitchen is where Kelsey explores other passions like entertainment and cooking. Kelsey loves hosting guests in her dining room which features a quartzite top table next to graphic neutral wallpaper. An elegant printed wall cover from Gucci continues the floral theme in her tea room, where a mid-century green sofa offers a relaxing spot for Kelsey to lounge with her dog. That'll wrap up today's house tour. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Kara and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!